Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a quick look at, finally, version 100 of Google Chrome. So, of course, we talked a lot about Chrome in the last week with the uh, high-profile security updates that were here. And there's more security updates, by the way, in version 100 that we'll talk in a different video. Uh, so, in Chrome, you are now able to go to version 100 today, March 29th, 2022. So simply go to your Chrome browser, go on the upper right corner with three vertical dots, help and about Google Chrome. It should actually, if it's not done already, jump you to version 100.0.4896.60. And by the way, that ending .60 could differ slightly from person to person, from PC to PC. Uh, version 100 comes to Linux, to Mac, and to Windows. Uh, first note, and we haven't heard much yet because it's brand new, but first note is that version 100 could technically break some websites. And the reason why is because the string for the version number has three digits rather than two. It is possible that some websites might not handle this correctly. That said, um, I've been using version 100 of Edge, which has the same possibility of breaking things. Haven't seen any problems in my case. Also, there's some mitigation done that uh, Google has made on Google Chrome. So that is, um, you know, maybe you won't encounter any issues. But if something goes wrong on a website that you go to, could be because of that version 100 problem. Now, what's new in the Google Chrome browser uh, for uh, Windows and for, uh, anyways, for just version 100, anyways, for every platform? Uh, one of the first things is that um, the multi display um, API, so multi screen window placements, will actually have a better impression. So that means that if you use multiple displays and you go and there's some apps opening different dashboards, images, and so on, um, a app showing something on a secondary screen, and so on, it is improved. The other thing that uh, this one adds is the possibility to forget a human interface device. What that means, say for example, you log into a website through Chrome with a fingerprint reader. If that website requires you to do that and decides that you're not welcome anymore, maybe because it's a subscription thing and you just aren't uh, paying anymore, whatever, somewhere that you work and um, they you don't work there anymore, so they're removing that possibility. Well, they have the possibility to remove that fingerprint reader uh, check from Chrome so when you shut it down and you actually get back into the websites, uh, suddenly it won't recognize it anymore. It won't work. So anything that is security, those USB keys for security and so on, all of that could be forgotten uh, for sure. There's a um, internal API that also can uh, and will be rolling out more about um, digital payments and platforms. So uh, Android Play or Google Play billing and Play Store apps and stuff. Uh, more and more implementation of how easy and how it's going to be uh, simple to just um, have automatic payments go through for different things that you want to purchase online. Um, apart from that, there's also the ability to they kind of make this a little more um, standard. One of the things that they are actually uh, checking out is the ability to simply have um, strings, empty strings in cookies. And what does that mean in empty strings and cookies? Uh, that simply means that uh, it just aligns Google Chrome with all the other browsers that already could do it uh, so that the compatibility and the standards are met. Visually, not really that much of a change anywhere. These are the big things that are within the app itself, within the Chrome that are kind of optimized and added or changed. 
For the rest, well, Chrome 100 is here. And so hopefully it won't break your websites that you go to. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.